Tarapasnabhaya, as we all uh, know him. He is an associate professor in electronics and communication department of the Siksha O Anisanthan, deemed to be university, Bhuvaneshwar. So more than his academic credentials, he has been associated as a volunteer of the University of Human Values since November 2020 and participating in many projects and activities. So um, it is good if uh, he himself can uh, introduce regarding his family and regarding his activities in the USP realm. So with this very brief introduction, I welcome Tarapaya for his uh, sharing in the morning session. Tarapaya, over to you for the sharing. Thank you. Thank you, Sunil Bhaiya, for the brief introduction. So, uh, namaste to everyone and good morning. Welcome. Uh, as uh, you know, Sunil Bhaiya said, my name is uh, Tara Prasanna Das. So I am working as an associate professor in the Department of Electronics at Sikshanusandhan University, Bhubaneswar, Odisha. So currently I am uh, living at uh, Bhubaneswar uh, with my uh, seven-year-old daughter, named Disa, my wife uh, Subhasri, my father, father-in-law, mother-in-law. In fact, we all are uh, living together now. And... Uh, I have uh, three elder sisters who are all you now married. And uh, I lost my mother uh, six years back, who was one of my idol of my life. So, uh, concern to this journey of UHP, or I should say, journey of myself in UHP, that uh, I started my UHP journey you know, in the COVID period that is you know, November 2020 with a compulsive uh, activity from university side to attend the online workshop and uh, which uh, imparts a result like, you know, this on, only these things are for saying, these are theories and uh, being in uh, executing in life is, you know, quite far away. But when I attend the second workshop on August 2021, uh, it opened up somehow, yes, if I can get, uh, you know, few minutes uh, of happiness, why can't I extend it to few hours? Why can't I extend it to, you know, in continuity? So that triggered me uh, searching for happiness, searching for you know, harmony within myself. So I was not aware about the word harmony at that time, you know, in quite details. Uh, rather in the journey, I was blessed to get the opportunity to attend the morning session in fourth batch that started from 20th October 2021. So I attended that and I have been attending in that morning session till today. And in between also we, uh, got an opportunity to attend UHB2 workshop where I came to know about Sunil Bhaiya in fact in that UHB2 workshop and uh, the journey is uh, going on. So this is my third uh, morning batch where I was exposed to USB 3 content uh, for the first time. Now uh, coming to the next segment that uh, sharing a shift in my understanding about the, about the following things. The first is human being. In fact, before I start, uh, the three words uh, really you know, triggered me uh, in during this uh, entire uh, UHB3 session, that was uh, we're coming again and again. The word is harmony, then relationship and coexistence. So uh, when I talk of this understanding of human being, yeah, it was uh, as an information that human being is a coexistence of self and body. And by nature, I usually do not accept whatever being said to me directly without verification. So body is fine, but whether the self is existing or not, whether the self is, you know, really or it's we are saying only theory. In that verification, I have, you know, I put uh, lots of effort, like uh, who is becoming happy, who is instruct, instructing the body. Even there are three, four uh, information coming outside uh, you know, is it uh, I am reading or, you know, it is the brain who is reading all such questions. 
get answered slowly when I really experimented it. Uh, like uh, one day I was in movie hall, so uh, along with my wife and kids. So I was watching movie at the same time I was attending one of the meeting with the earphone in my ear. So I can see that you know I am listening to the uh, meeting because I I want to pay attention there. So it is you know not the brain. Brain is getting all the information, but uh, you know it is me who is making the decision or who is making the instruction to the brain. Yes, I know I can. I want to listen to this. So like this, this experiment went on, and uh, uh, slowly I tried to explore the activities in the self uh, mostly. That uh, where uh, you can see that the lowest level. In the you know, desire for expectation and the expectation level, the selecting and testing normally, you know, in, initially it was happening through sensation. I was a bit, you know, keen about what kind of uh, food or what kind of clothes, all these things. But slowly, when these exercises were going on in a morning session, exercise one and two, specifically exercise one, and uh, when this USB three particularly came, that you know, uh, guided sensation that what is very you know, clear and in fact insightful as well. So that guided sensation, we, we, I mean, I can see in that way that yes, in the purpose of nurturing my body, in the purpose of you know, protecting my body, this guidance guided sensation is desirable. Earlier to this USB three workshop, you know. The sensation body is something like you know really undesirable for me but uh, slowly when i get to this particular term guided sensation in this year three session it was in a different uh, dimension then uh, when it came to again you know this guided i will say comparing in the form of you know like the property of the uh, material or material image, all these things, how we are seeing, how we are comparing. So that thing also very insightful for me. And, uh, you know, let me give an example of this uh, comparing activity at the uh, level of self, which is guided by higher activities. Recently, our copy corrections were going on and uh, I was uh, very much occupied with many official activities uh, of the university so i was getting only two to three hours to check uh, copy in a single day i requested the chief uh, examiner that you give me less copy other you extend the dates to check the copies uh, it will be very much difficult to complete in the given time uh, but that has not happened and suddenly I get into you know uh, the reaction within me, though it is not you know expressed outside, but I could see that it happened. But uh, slowly with time, I can see you know uh, right at the moment when the reaction inside is coming, uh, like you know in the CCTV is getting activated or alarm is getting activated, and I can see the other point of view. The others participation in the larger order, the chief is trying to complete it at the scheduled time. So he or she is putting effort. So why I should be you know uh, opposed with him or her? So now the question is: during that period, I can see uh, you know I was most uncomfortable within me. So it is my responsibility to make myself comfortable. And when I see the same situation with the feeling of relationship, then you know the entire thing getting changed. I can acknowledge others' contribution. I can acknowledge the participation in the larger order of larger benefits. So I could see this is one of my deep rooted sanskar. You know, when things do not go in my way, I get um, a bit disturbed within, and uh, you know, I am slowly working upon it. So. Uh, you know, when I say about this USB 3 particularly, that it has helped me to see my current state of being. So, in the current state of being, we see you know, where we are, uh, in fact, in D1, 
or B2. So I, I may see probably I'm working, I am fluctuating between this state of contemplation and I know B2 block sometimes. So most of the time I can see, you know, I can uh, think of the participation in the larger order relationship, uh, all these things, you know, it comes. Then when I uh, think of you know, this nature, in fact, uh, this time in which the, the nature has been discussed so extensively. And uh, you know, out of these, the one picture always uh, remains before my eyes that the four circles where we talk of uh, physical order, you know, bio order, animal order, and human order. So all rest of the three orders are mutually fulfilling, whether you know, I or the human order, you know, we are are really not mutually fulfilling with the rest of the nature. So, in fact, uh, nothing to do at you know our end. If we just realize the harmony of the rest of the order. So, in that process, in fact, uh, I I have to do a lot of work in that in that particular uh, uh, order that nature. Uh, but uh, at least if I can see the ship from earlier time to this time. I am able to work at uh, you know with the uh, mud uh, at in the you know my garden. I have started with working. In fact, my father is working, and I am helping him. You know, so that is also a very fulfilling moment for me. That getting you know uh, fruits at the backyard, or at least um, in the college or in anywhere, I see something which is really you know uh, nature hazardous or i should keep it away so this bit uh, awareness has come but still you know many things to work upon then when i you know come to this uh, understanding of existence it is a really vast and uh, i would say as much i explore that much you know incomplete it seems so uh, but one thing is true that uh, when we talk of this existence, I can see the coexistence. Coexistence, you know, I may not see it all the moments, but when I am in ease or I'm in, you know, very much comfortable within, yes, I can see that uh, the entire existence in harmony. And at this particular discussion of existence, one another picture come to my imagination that the entire diagram where, you know, uh, the self part of the entire existence is even less than one fourth of the entire existence. And if I can work upon myself, I can work upon you know the understanding of myself. I can shift myself to a bit higher activity. Then the harmony of the entire existence is there, and there I can also be complementary uh, part of this entire existence. So. You know, these I would say uh, the expression of existence and all these discussions were very insightful. And uh, uh, if I will say, you know, looking at this existence, uh, earlier uh, when I was uh, going outside, you know, I was uh, roaming around. Hardly I was focusing anything, hardly I was looking anything. I was going to say my workplace, going working and coming back. But now, you know, many things come into uh, observation like uh, what I am doing, what outside is going on, what somebody is putting, what uh, there or here, or how somebody is talking, or means uh, I could say, you know, many things like whether it is um, any. Uh, human order or animal order or bio order, you know, how things are getting what what are their properties, what is their inertness. So all these things, you know, <laughs> getting a bit uh, opened up for me. But yes, as I said, it many work to be done uh, regarding the understanding of these questions. Then uh, it comes to, you know, this human conduct. So when we talk of, there are two models we talk of, when higher activities, uh, uh, higher activities are guiding the lower activities, uh, and uh, the other model to understand the justice and prosperity and all these, the model to 
so when i get into the content of this model one it was very much uh, understandable for me but when it was uh, model two i was uh, looking at so you know uh, many things to work upon in model two ensuring this you know, uh, as many times i have heard these words like uh, perseverance ability uh, generosity, kindness, beneficiary, compassion, all these things, you know, these are still words for me. And uh, I think I, I, am, I am yet to leave with these words. So these words I try to, you know, understand again and again, as much time, I, you know, as many times I try to understand, but still it uh, felt like uh, it is yet to understand all these words with uh, correct understanding. Uh, so then I am coming to this uh, exercise one and two. So in fact, this exercise one and two, I will say uh, the tool uh, which made you know me uh, whatever today I am. So uh, in particular, when I am coming to the steps of exercise one and two, observing uh, the step one, that is observing the self by the self. So earlier. You know, before coming to this universal human value program, whatever I am doing, you know, I am doing it's okay. So I I study well, I did everything for my parents at that level of understanding, I'm saying. And uh, then everything did my uh, everything did for my family, say wife, you know, daughter, or in laws or sisters. But still I'm not happy. So in that, you know, there is a big question. But, you know, uh, I may not express in words that while going through this exercise in deep for the first time in the fourth week of morning session, that it was, you know, every day the fulfilling day when I was trying to observe the imagination. So when I was observing the imagination slowly, I can observe the, you know, feelings behind this imagination. And that is the feeling of my mind which decides you know my behavior outside you know my calmness inside or my harmony inside so in that process the disturbance related to my family members uh, or you know at my workplace it was now you know not giving so much disturbance within me the reason is i can see my competence as well as the competence of others and every time when such situation is uh, coming, like other is behaving in an undesired way, uh, you know, I, I don't know how it is coming, but of course I can uh, able to think the other's point of view and other's participation, other's contribution, not for me, also for the larger order. So steps one to five, uh, who is the decision maker? So that I can see it is me who is the decision maker. And when the decision comes with higher order of self, activities of the self, that is with understanding and you know determination, that gives much more you know, peace within us or much more harmony within us. But when it, uh, you know, guided by the lower orders like uh, the sensation or some precondition, then it is, you know, very short lasting then uh, when we you know i said this understanding of relationship harmony and coexistence so when i am in i am at ease i am in harmony then others you know uh, i can understand or i can see the relationship the relationship is there itself i just need to recognize so in that process earlier days when i was saying you know i when i go to college i really see anyone but now the same you know people are there but when i go from you know <laughs> the main gate to even to my chamber i can see you know many people are known to me i left i laugh at them i talk in fact i i would share a short example i was doing examination duty and uh, at that time i I, I see first time the person who was giving water, like a peon kind of person. So uh, I asked, you know, what's your name? Then he said me uh, like his name and he started talking to me at least 10 minutes. Then, you know, I am at that place. I am, you know, my home is there, my children. 
by doing that, you know, so many things he told. And uh, just before leaving, the person is saying, sir, you know, in my nine, of, nine years of job at this institute, nobody has asked me that, uh, you know, what is my name? <laughs> so that was a goosebump kind of thing for me at that moment in the examination hall. You see, we all are living in a, such a small place of, uh, you know, institute, say, or in our periphery, say, but uh, we, we are just uh, lacking the understanding about this relationship. So when we recognize the relationship, we nothing to do with just people mutually fulfilling. So uh, that is uh, one of the you know, uh, understanding about relationship and you know like uh, coexistence so yes one day the discussion was there uh, like you know we were scared of many animals we are scared of many things like you know so many uh, i would say uh, grass or unwanted plants are there so many unwanted animals are there in that way the thought process was there earlier but now I can see even you know in a, in a whether it is a dust or whether it is a, a insect whether it is a fish or whether anything yes they all are you know in the part of the existence and I am having the relationship with all but of course you know still I have to work upon that then uh, coming to exercise two the observing the uh, body and its interaction uh, by the self. So when, uh, you know, in this exercise too, I was a bit stuck that uh, when I am saying, uh, when it was being said that I am in space and the uh, you know, body is in space. So it was very much difficult for me to, you know, digest, in fact, explore. Uh, but it was uh, very much clear that uh, I am, you know, away from the body. Uh, there is a distance between, you know, the self and the body. Uh, though it was in the form of uh, only, I would say, information, but uh, slowly when I try to explore that, everything is submerged in the space. Everything means it is the material unit, it is the consciousness unit and everything. So it is you know, distant clear if two units are submerged in space, two units may be at same place of the space, but there is a distance. And in that process, I can give one example. Uh, I was not understanding that example earlier, but uh, probably I try to get the meaning uh, of that example within me. Uh, I, I first one seriously clear activities, you know, ESB activities, maybe 10, 15 years back, and I was under you know severe pain and without anesthesia, one of the operation was going on and. Uh, at that time, uh, you, know, you know, there is no sound uh, outside or you know, I was not shouting or maybe I was not uh, reacting, but uh, tears were getting automatically from the eyes, but I was uh, you know, very much, uh, I would say, uh, supportive to the doctor because it was urgent. So I was thinking, you know, how could I, how could I think, uh, do it or how is it possible? So, yes, I can think now, even you know, some problems now also with the body. But yes, when we pay attention, those problems are problems. When we read the sensation, those problems are problems. And when me or myself, I can see I am having a distance from uh, this uh, body, then yes, of course, the pain is there in the body. And if I can pay attention to my inner self, probably the pain, I may be relieved from the pain. And this is just a, you know, analysis at the level of, you know, lower level of activities, of course, guided by the higher activities. So that is one of the understanding. And this is very, very fulfilling that I can at least, you know, a bit clear that how this distance is there between the self and the body. And uh, in fact, it was a consistent doubt since the sport and tip, but it is uh, getting, it has got clear means I can see you know, the submergence in the space 
the, all the units. But yes, it is an open area still for me, and I need to work open uh, more and more. Then, uh, if I will say the changes in uh, my living uh, with the understanding, yes. Like uh, earlier, I was always you know regretting you know uh, uh, you know like this. You know. <laughs> As much you do for your family, they will not realize. So I was always like, as much you do for your uh, institution, for your organization, nobody will understand and nobody will uh, understand your emotions. But, you know, the, the, with this understanding of uh, the self and body and all, I can now in a you know, much, much better is that, yes, I need to understand myself. I need to be self referred so if my feelings are uh, you know all right then i can be a complementary to others and if i can see the harmony within me i can see the relationship with others and if i can understand this coexistence everybody will you know uh, will be there at their own uh, place in the space so there is no uh, question of regretting or agony and uh, you know i i may open up it uh, because all our family members you know sometimes uh, i heard you know uh, some people uh, do divorce kind of thing so i was trying to think you know uh, we just make few papers uh, ready that yes uh, i am away from a particular person but if you see the whole existence the human being is there you know i the other part uh, other human being is there i am also there so what is there the relationship always there so where to go you cannot go so rather we can be complementary if we try to understand the relationship with others so uh you know and these are few uh understanding of course you know uh, i am uh, not able to explore much uh, because of uh, many activities outside uh, mostly for last uh, few months so, uh, but certainly I'm committed. I will try to explore as much as possible at my own uh, level to develop the understanding within me, to develop the right feelings towards others, and uh, to live in a, um, I will say, all these uh, states of happiness, peace, satisfaction, and bliss. And I must not forget to say, all these words were looking the same for me earlier, but with the content of USB 3. You know, the uh, value guided sensation, justice guided sensation, participation in a larger order, harmony, and coexistence. It gives different meanings to all these words. So, uh, uh, as a part of, uh, you know, devoting time for social responsibility, you know, uh, it now it is, uh, you know, my prime responsibility. So, I am in that process. I will try to uh, devote as much time possible. So, and of course, two hours I did it. So, with this, I may conclude my sharing. Thank you, everyone, for your patience sharing. So, I must express my gratitude to the entire coexistence along with my mentors. So, uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Tara Ji, for this enriching sharing. Very nice sharing, I would say. I have uh, got connected to many of your examples. Thank you so much for that. Please. Uh, in the process of you know this learning or understanding the content, uh, one thing I have realized that as much participation we do, as much volunteering we do, as much we ex allow, allow ourselves to expose to the content, it may be in the morning session, you know, daytime session or student workshop or at our college or at our family, you know, we try to, uh, you know, discuss these contents, that much clarity uh, comes to our understanding. So, uh, similarly, or any of us, even I'm saying to myself, that as much we will try to, uh, you know, understand this content at various level of our living, it will, uh, you know, expedite the process of uh, understanding. Gee. Gee, very, Gee, very, 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 very true, true, very true. I can also connect to this. So, um, and unless I have been a volunteer, I think I would not have, I would have forgotten some of the proposals. I would not have been exploring the proposals too. Very true, Therapas Naji. Thank you for the clarification. Nice. Uh, for us, let me request uh, Shamla Didi 
to give her uh, remarks and comments regarding the personal gist sharing shamla didi over to you yeah. so very nice sharing tara personal always nice to hear you and to be able to see the growth if i go back to recollecting the first time that you were attending the morning session and the questions that used to come regarding relationship regarding home regarding you know the spouse your father so many um, relationship issues i think which is uh, a chord that strikes for all of us because that is a necessity for us to be able to see the relationship and to be able to live in relationship and when it doesn't happen it's a sore point and it's always a cause of disturbance within so i can see how many of the issues have slowly been resolving for you and how um, your own feelings your own ensuring of your behavior is starting to happen more and more at least what i can gather from your sharings from time to time and i think that is the way to go because as our conduct becomes definite like you said our close members are also able to see this and nobody has a problem with good conduct <laughs> the problem only comes when we react so if we are trying to change the other person if we are trying to tell the other person what to do how to live their life then there is an issue because a lot of times we are ourselves are not living that way and they are able to see that so i think um, i can see a lot of progress in your self your growth your um, advancement but of course there is lot more to be done that is true for all of us i think the exploration can go a little deeper perhaps um, you can devote a, a special time separately i don't know if you are doing that and of course the practical part the exploration um how it proceeds when we are participating that you are able to see very well because you are participating in many many activities and that like you said is a sort of the whatever we have learned in theory it comes into practice when we interact with others and whatever we think we have understood the test or the challenge comes when we are actually interacting with others and we are able to see how um how the other responds to me or what the other has to say about me as the others get reassured then the relationship blossoms because then we are able to see our relationship and that feeling of trust is there and that changes the whole perspective so earlier we may not have known others who are you know working with uhb we've come from different backgrounds different states different um preconditionings but when we work together for a common purpose how we are growing with each other and how we are learning from one another i think it's a beautiful experience and um seeing it first hand is important being able to see the feeling first hand is important being able to experience the happiness is important and i can see that you know with all your sharings from time to time that many a time you are able to see that so um continue with your 
um, participation. And I think if you can work on um, perhaps exploring a little deeper as you go, and it will happen in a very natural procession also progression, it will happen. But if you can pay a little more attention to the details of the exercises, I think um, it will be very beneficial. All the very best to you for your onward journey also. Best wishes from us. Thank you so much. In fact, uh, I must say that uh, many of us uh, ask, you know, why are we spending so much time there? You know, you can invest uh, here and there. Uh, you know, and there are many ways to uh, do many things. So uh, I was you know, in a difficult state to answer those, but uh, and now I can see, you know, uh, what is you know uh, that innate within us that will come naturally and that needs no I know that is no answer but it comes automatically so uh, <laughs> I am really thankful to all of you all the mentors from our Bayer, you Dennis, uh, so many you know, is Bayer, all their effort and uh, their consistent effort to get the understanding in each of us uh, really you know, brought us uh, to hear and in continuity. Thank you. And definitely, I will try to explore in deep. And thank you to all. Thank you, uh, Didi, for that uh, remarks. The remarks are for us also, for sure. Uh, and Tara Prasanna for the quick response to that. <laughs>